welcome to yet another exciting episode of Kilimona Biashara and by exciting I mean super super excited because the Agricultural Society show is back after two years of taking a break due to disruptions brought about by COVID-19. Well, today we are not just going to explore the trade fairs, we are going to bring you and show you all the agricultural practices involved in the agricultural sector. If you miss the biggest international trade fair in Kenya, we are here to give you a recap of what happened here. So, are you interested? Join me, let's go. One of the things that we need to continuously make sure that we are doing is to continue helping farmers to be more adaptive. And by being more adaptive, we, we have to give farmers options. What options are there for them to be able to adopt uh, and adapt to, to that they can be able to handle the issue of uh, productivity and production. So that remains a mandate of the Ministry of Agriculture. We have our own state agencies from government. We also have private sector. We also have international exhibitors. And the key thing that we want to achieve here is to give farmers an exposure to the options, technologies and innovations that exist. I'm telling you the excitement here is out of the world. Well, remember, here we have all calibers, almost everyone is right here, from students to parents to their teachers. But well, let's get to hear from the students what they have to say, especially after the return of SK show after two years. Hi guys, how are you? We are fine, we are fine. <laughs> how are you feeling? We are feeling good, uh -huh. yes. So I'm ready after two years. Nini mulko me miss ana. Yani kujia tu kujione atuizi ma vitu tu. Eh eh. Ma vitu gani? Interact. Eh eh. Kuna vinye inji iko. Eh eh. In agriculture because this is an agricultural show. Eh. Nini mne zako interested na yo? Vinye ngombe na kamuliwa. Vinye ngombe na kamuliwa. Eh. Na machine. Eh. Nini ingine interesting na taka kufanya apa? Vitu za engineering tu hizi. Vitu za engineering. Hey, equipment. Nasikia besti yako anaongea hapo. Kuja yeah. karibia pia. Ati ati unasema wewe una, unataka kuona nini? Ah uh, mimi nimekuja huku sana sana kuona vitu za agri. Eh eh. Ah si ka student wa agri tumefaidika sana. Ah. Uh, Ju kuna staff pia tujasoma but tumejionea si wenyewe. Eh uh -huh. In future unataka kuwa agriculturalist kama nani ama kama nini? Food. I want to study food science. Ah, food science! Mm. I wish you all the best. That is my vocal boys from Machakos County. You see, everyone is traveling from different counties. Meleta mifugo. Ah, yeah. mifugo gani? Mbozi, uh -huh. bata, kuku. Uh -huh. eh. Na unona aje, watu wanarisiwa aje. <laughs> Anasema ikopoa ni wauzie uh -huh. na wanafulaia na tuendele na kazi mzuri. Uh -huh. eh. I'm a farmer, a young farmer. And um, I have a farm at Njoro. And I sell uh, breed. Uh -huh. Breeds za mbozi, kuku na most especially takis. And uh, I'm here to display, um, uh, and apart from that, I'm here to showcase and to sell. Here. 
This year's theme, Promotion, Innovation and Technology in Agriculture and Trade, aligns well with the government's plan of transforming agriculture and economy to provide better quality of life for our citizens. The theme underscores our government's commitment to promoting innovation and technology for the growth of the agricultural sector. Now, welcome to Young Farmers and 4K Club section. Remember, 4K Club was just revamped recently. So let's see what they have for us. Join me. Ooh, there's a lot happening here. I don't know where to start. Yeah, coming as as we have so there's a session yeah. ongoing right there. Let's get to find out what's happening. And I can see there's a teacher here. Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm uh, sorry to disrupt you. How thank are you? you? I'm fine, thank <laughs> you. Which school is this and what's oh, happening here? This is Dagoretti Mix Secondary School. Yes. We are glad this year it is back. Mm -hmm. So as farmers and as uh, students, uh, remember all sectors are good, yes. but uh, mostly remember we have uh, challenges to do with the food production in our country. Yes. Now there is a need for us to increase the production with the growing population. Uh -huh. So that is why I prefer uh, at least to bring our students here so that they can learn the new technologies and the innovation that they can create. So we have beautiful children in this particular stand here, the 4K club section. Let's get to know their names and what they have to offer here. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Arnold Masharia. Arnold Masharia, yes. wow. And you? My name is Justus Wanjohi. Justus Wanjohi. And who's right behind you? Mrs. Mrs. Joan Dumia. Mrs. Joan Dumia. Today, I don't want to engage the teachers. I want to engage these beautiful children. So tell me, what do you have here for us? We have cabbages called Star Gloria. Because when it grows, it will be good, firm and compact. I have learned that those flowers are Mexican flowers. They are called marigold. We came up with two. Mm -hmm. Pets cannot harm even the cabbage. particular section we want to show you animal husbandry uh, what I'm speaking about is we are going to see the section where animals are being showcased well let's start with goats I know we've shown you goats farming before but well it won't hurt showing you some of other breeds that are available here so join me let's go see which goats are here Hapa ni mwehoko daire goat, uh, tunaweka mbuzi wa maziwa. Mbuzi wale tukonao hapa wa maziwa ni mbuzi wa aina ya alpine. Tukona all the three types of alpines, whereby we have uh, German alpine as our main breed. Also we have uh, British alpine and also we have the French alpine. All the same we have added another breed which is uh, Sunen in our farm. Those are the, they are in the category of dairy goats, whereby we call ourselves Mwehoko dairy goat because of the milk production. Our main call business is to sell milk. So that's why we really focus on our uh, dairy goat. But other people, they do dairy goat just because they want to become a breeder. So as we do dairy goat because of selling the milk. Milk you'll get between four to 4.5 per goat, uh, depending on a goat is in which lactation. That means you'll get two and a half in the morning, then you get two in the evening. Anauliza, kwa nini niliamua kueka alpines instead ya togenbergs? Alpine is a very hardy goat. 
hakuna mahali hawezi safa hivi ni mbuzi ambaye anastahimili magonjwa kwa hali ya juu sana kwa hivyo ukiona uko na alpine na anakufa hata wewe umemwachilia another thing about the alpine ndiye yule mbuzi anatoa maziwa very thick so maziwa yake wakati na user sisikia ngi complaints so maziwa yake ni, ni very thick in terms of quality wise it has a very good quality number three, huyu mbuzi ambaye anaitwa alpine ndiye anajua ku maintain the production vizuri sana that's why when you come to our farm you'll find that tuko na mbuzi tunamkamua for the last one year before to mu service tena because ana ile fluctuation ya kutoa maziwa So I've interacted with the farmers who are here mm -hmm. and uh, we have shared the contacts. Yeah. So we'll be contacting them for at least they will supply us with the best breeds mm -hmm. because as you know dairy milk from goats mm -hmm. uh, is very nutritious. Yeah. So that is where we are heading mm -hmm. and I think it's a good thing because you can do it in a small space. Now you've seen the different varieties available inside there, but now I'm quite curious. There's one that is right outside here and it looks like it's a champion. It's, it has been pampered all over. Let's find out. Habari yako? Zuri sana. Ni naona hii ni champion ama nini imefanyika hapa? Ni champion. Ni champion. Ndio. Ni pedigree hii. Hii ni aina ya token bag. Tukiwa tunangoja itende kama parent itende ya rais tupeleke. Anaangalia rangi yake bila inatembea na erodhe yake bila iko In this year's beam uh, the ESK show is about promoting innovation in agriculture and in this front Kenchik has exhibited we have our stand here Kenchik sells Dale chicks, the best in the market, uh, the highest quality in East and Central Africa. We sell Dale broiders, Dale layers, and Dale old Kenbro. Uh, Kenchik is the only uh, supplier in Kenya of the only hatchery doing pre vaccination of chicks at the hatchery. And that means that once the farmer or all our customer buys the birds, that they are sure that the birds will are uh, of the highest quality, low mortality fast growth rates, high livability, and they are, sh they are guaranteed that they will get the highest return on their investment. So, uh, I was saying, this is the Kenbo. It's an improved Kenyaji, yeah. the best breed in the market. Yeah, yeah produced, and Kenbo is only produced by Kenshik. So this is what we call the naked deck. Yeah. And you can see, uh, we have diversity. We have what we call the tricolor. We have the gray bird, or what we call the, the black bird. We call it the gray bird, and we have the red bro. So basically, what about that, the big one there, or the yeah, that, that is the red bro. Yeah. So basically, with Kenchik, you have variety because so this is what much these days they take too much. It takes three months. It's actually 13 weeks. So within three, within three weeks, the birds are ready to be sold. Now, if you hold this, this bird as it is, basically looking at a bird that weighs at least two kilos at the point of slaughter. So it's a pretty much heavy bird. Yeah. In laying eggs, how does it? It's dual purpose. So the hens will lay eggs uh -huh. at around six months. And the jogos, like this one, no, they are already ready for meat. But yeah. we are young. Okay, in terms of eggs production, uh, the hens will lay, but again, they do not brood. They, they, do, do, they do not have an eye. What about diseases? Are they persistent with diseases? Are, it's a very, very hardy bird. Low mortality, fast growth rates, high livability, and actually, the beauty with this, it's a bird that you can actually free range. If you look at that space over there, 
We can actually release this bird outside into the environment. It is can scavenge and actually that helps in lowering your feed costs by, you know, because you are essentially supplementing the bird. Okay. You can also, if you have a garden, you can also, you know, uh, introduce vegetables, you know, kitchen waste and all that. You know, it actually uh, uh, lowers your feed cost at the end of the day. We got to explore different varieties of cattle and even ox that are here. Let's take a look. What are these? And now to the highlight of the day. Look at this. They are breeding bulls. I bet this is my highlight because look at this. I'm just curious. How about Rizelu? Missouri. In the breed, gani na nona ni machampe. This is a Boran breed. It's a, as you can see, it's a red. We have two colors of Boran. We have white, and we have red Boran. Yes. This is our champion bull for today. Uh -huh. And this is our reserve champion bull for today. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a very good breeding bull. Uh -huh. uh, we sell it at 240,000. The animal weighs up to one ton when it reaches a maturity age. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it can still breed until it reaches 13 years of age. This is a white boran. Uh -huh. As you can see, a very nice bull. Yes, it's a beautiful. very young bull. Mm -hmm. A very docile bull. Uh -huh. This also is a breeding bull. The price of the, the two is the same. And this one, at the moment, it weighs 540 kgs. Uh -huh. uh, in the next one year or two, it will be at Plus. Well, yeah. Lori, Lori, I'm <laughs> <champions> for today. <laughs> so we are going to present them to Mr. President uh -huh. so we can get something for them. We are going to get a trophy. A trophy yes. for this. <laughs> tumekuja ili tu kwa sababu hapa ni show ya ya, 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 ya I think ili ya kimataifa eh? yeah. tumekuja kuchifunza kwanza kuhusu kulisha ngombe lishe bora ya pili tumekuja kuchifunza kuhusu mbegu ile mzuri yenye inatatoa maziwa na hiyo yote inaweza kufanya sisi tuongeze ile ile maziwa ile masao yetu ya maziwa huko nyumbani we been in other news in other stands where we also get uh, the, the insemination of animals yes. like the CKL company where we have seen uh, how to inseminate the animals mm -hmm. so if we combine all this we'll be able to produce more milk and be I mean very productive dairy farmers yeah. in our in our place yeah. our pricing is still low we are going for 40 shillings a liter so but I know if it's supported it can go even up to 100 yeah. or even more and we'll be able to benefit well. And even the government also will benefit because we'll be able to pay taxes mm -hmm. and do other very good things that will support mm -hmm. um, the, the country as such mm -hmm. in general. And in Russia, they have this Frisian style cross cows. There is one, they are called brown Swiss. We want to explore the crop section. Trust you me, this will be quite insightful. Guess what? I'm not just going to show you the crops that are in the farm or at the exhibition. Also, let's explore value addition of some of the most unique herbs as well as some plants. Let's go see what Kenyatta University has to offer for us. Let's go. Part of cosmetics. Mm -hmm. 
and also in aromatherapy. Yeah, so now we on a profit. So actually, they, these are very expensive ones, and uh, actually we make them from <laughs> these kinds of stuff. Mm, except from the oil, we do what we call steam distillation. Yeah. Hi guys! Ah, Linda! <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi. How are you? Poor Sana. Good how to see you guys. Good to see you too. And I see you have amazing products. Actually, we have a lot of stuff here. Uh -huh. KU and, uh, yeah. KU and research. Research, everything. Okay. I'm ready to learn. So we start from the, from the oils. Uh -huh. And uh, at our center, which is the National Phytotherapeutics Research Center uh -huh. at Kenyatta University. Uh -huh. We do upscaling of herbal products yes. from, from from herbal materials. Yeah? Uh -huh. So, for example, we've got eucalyptus oil. Uh -huh. From the eucalyptus mm -hmm. leaves, mm -hmm. we distill the leaves and we get the eucalyptus oil. Yes, this one is actually a very good uh, 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 material uh -huh. for respiratory problems. Uh -huh. Most people know rosemary in tea. Yes, when they add in tea in the morning mm -hmm. or maybe in the evening. Mm -hmm. But rosemary, when you distill it, you get the rosemary oil. And what is it used for? This one is a very good product mm -hmm. for relaxation and concentration. Also, it is used to stimulate hair growth, for hair growth. So as a lady, <laughs> in your shampoo, mm -hmm. in your shampoo, you can put a few drops in your shampoo and then wash your hair with it or your scalp and then it will assist you to actually have good circulation yes. and then the hair moves. Mm. And then now he now nanga kwa bibilia tu. Asa hizi, <laughs> zilipewa bibi Jesus wakati wa birthday yake, wakati alikuwa nazaliwa. Yes. Actually most guys don't know this, mm -hmm. they have seen it here for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one mm -hmm. is a product from a tree. Mm -hmm. Actually they are collected from trees. Eh? And these trees grow in desert areas. So this resin is distilled and then we get the oil from the resin. And what is the oil for? The oil is a very good uh, product for pain relief. For pain relief. So it is actually put in uh, a carrier oil. A carrier oil is something like olive oil, coconut oil. So it is mixed a few drops in the carrier oil and then it is used to massage. Actually, most guys also know this one in the church. The Catholic Church, ile ubani, eh? But if na ile alta boy nafanya hivi. Actually, this is what is uh, is used. Ile arufu ya kwa apa hivi, eh? So this one also is a resin from a tree, same way like ma. And this one is also very good for pain relief. And also, and it is also antibacterial. Here, we've got this stuff called herbal teas. Uh -huh. Herbal teas are just herbs that we have ground, okay, we have dried them, mm -hmm. and then we have ground them, mm -hmm. and then we have packed them in sachets, in tea bags. Mm -hmm. So inside here, uh, we've got uh, uh, this chamomile. Chamomile is a, is a herb, and the flour is the one that is used to make the tea. So we will dry the flour, and then we grind the flour, and then we, pack it, we package it in, in, a, in, a, in a tea bag, mm -hmm. and then we sell it like, like this. Uh -huh. So it means, as a farmer, Instead of actually selling the raw flowers, you can decide to go to the next level. We can actually come to our place whereby we can actually assist you in grinding and then making the tea bags and then packaging and then we can actually sell it in the yes. market. So it's a very valuable uh, process yeah. for value addition. And the other one? The Lem other one now uh, we've got now the lemon, mm -hmm. the lemon grass. The lemon grass is also a tea. Mm -hmm. actually, it, is, it is actually very popular yeah. in Kenyan households. Yeah? Same fashion, we take the, the lemongrass leaves, we dry them, we grind them, and then we pack them in sachets. Yeah. This sachet, actually this, this same material that is here, this same size, eh? yeah. when you go to the kiosk, you'll buy it at maybe 10 shillings or even, it costs nothing. Yeah. But when you grind the same material, and then you put it in a sachet, and then package it like this, it goes for like 300 shillings. So you can see, it's a, a value-added product.
Now, Jomo Kenyatta Agriculture and Technology University, just like the name suggests, is well known for its prowess in the agricultural sector. Well, I'm sure they must be exhibiting one of the best stands here. So let's get in there and see what they're exhibiting today in this international show. So let's go inside. Aina Rufu. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How oh you? my god, you're just holding a snail right yes, there. Yes, yes, I'm too. My pottery here, my But what's happening here? Uh for here. Uh-huh. Uh, we are doing snail farming. To start with, the snails reproduce by laying eggs, where one snail is capable of laying up to 300 eggs, and they hatch after 21 days, like the normal chicken or poultry. Then from there, they take five months to, be, to become mature, and you can start harvesting your bioproducts. One of the major bioproducts bio we have is the slime, the mucus, the, this mucus here. Uh, the mucus is uh, used to manufacture soap and also cream, which are very benefic beneficial skin care products. Uh, it takes care of every skin problem, the acne, the eczema, pimples, like you'll just be smooth as it is. Uh, the, that we have dealt with the slime. We also have the other part, which is the shell. The shell is rich in calcium carbonate. It is 98% calcium carbonate, and thus it's good rhyming material. And for that, we grind it to powder form. For the powder form, we supplement the animal feed with the calcium. And the animal feed, we sell them at a lower cost, not like the normal feeds. So, and we also use the calcium during our, making our organic fertilizer. We add calcium, so when it goes to the field, if your soil was acidic, it will be lowered due to the calcium. The crops also do well because the, the fertilizer, the organic fertilizer is, highly nutritive in terms of NPK. We also have the, the also the foliar fertilizer from also their feces. Uh, the other part which is the fresh, it's edible. So someone can just take this and cook it, cook it at home. You boil it or you what? To prepare that, you know, first you have to remove it from the shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for that you put it to almost boiling water. Yes. And the shell will detach. Uh -huh. Then you will continue boiling it uh. to get rid of all that mucus. Yes. And then you can uh, opt to eat it boiled, you oh fry it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's it's moving. <laughs> It's okay, I think we are done here. Oh my God, look at this. I've been told that this is high on amino acid and it's, it's tastier than fish. How about that? You can try this, it's edible. And you can get a fertilizer as well as cheap powder. But well, we are done here. I can't wait to put this down. See you on the next segment. Thank you so much. This Jamhuri Grounds is really massive and I'm nowhere close to the end. But now, let me just quench my thirst and then we can continue to the next section, right? I can see there's some juices here. Amari yako? Mzuri sana. Uko fiti? Karibu. Siju ni kunyo nini, nataka baridi. Karibu, ni kona vitu baridi. Ah, bas. When it's made. Yeah. It's very cold. Yeah. Mm. 
I needed that. Ko sawa? Sasa, eh, wo me set up kwa show. Yeah. Umeona aje isho ya imwaka? Eh, show ya imwaka manze. Eh. Iko down. Iko down? Iko chini, si kama hizo miaka zingine tukikuja. I'm from Kisumu. Eh, nimekuja biashara huku. Ulikuja all the way from Kisumu for the show? Yes, yeah, nimekuja show. Nimekuwa nikikuja hizo miaka zingine nyuma. But hizo miaka zingine za nyuma zinakuwa sawa. Sasa tujui hii hii this time I don't know ni corona unajua pia mm -hmm. corona imeharibu hichi. Mm -hmm. So like leo ni Thursday. Uh -huh. Siku ya Thursday watu wanatarajia watoto wanakuanga wengi hivi kuanzia Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So this time hatujaona watoto. Sasa sijui kuchangia kwa shule watoto ndio wamefungua shule. Tunatarajia maybe kesho taweza kuwa wengi. Uh -huh. Tuuze. Mauzi yeah. nakuanga mzuri lakini leo imekuwa chini. But hatuja lose hope. Najua uh -huh. by kesho <laughs> na Saturday na Sunday tafanya uh -huh. kazi. Uh -huh. Yeah. But vile unaona idadi ya watu imepungua. Imepungua zaidi. Zaidi zaidi. Tujajue sababu ni gani lakini uh -huh. tuna tunachia Mungu. Lakini tunakuombea mema yes. na tumeshukuru sana. Uh -huh. Sasa hiyo ni how much? Hiyo minute made that one is 100 bob. Ah, sawa. Acha nimekunulia soda pia. Eh nashukuru. Nakula lunch. <laughs> Utakula lunch. Nakula ugali choma. Thank choma. you so much. Asante. Ah, Majaliwa. Haya. Ah, yeah. ah. end this particular last segment of Kilimo na Biashara show and we've taken you through so many sections but we are in the machinery section look at this beast that I'm right inside this is one among the machines that you're going to explore right here so how about we jump down and we go see other machines that are right inside here shall we let's go Jai sana, jua wasa inapata ninyake. Ndoweze kusila hapa juu saini. Siingishe heo. Na ijaeka hewa completely. Jua wasa ini. Sasa na tip. Kusila. Unakunja ati. So we have brought the agricultural making machines, uh -huh. silage specifically, mm -hmm. silage making machines. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, so for chopping and packing of the silage. So you have to chop the fodder first. Uh -huh. Once you chop it, then it's going to feed into the the packing machine. Yes. So once you pack koyo bag yake, mm -hmm. so you una press the hydraulic. Uh -huh. So you press the hydraulic in a toyo hewa in your cup on dani, you also uneza kueka silage. Uh -huh. Yeah, so at the moment you may place your bag, the kg is 60 kg uh -huh. per drum. Uh -huh. Yeah, so for 60 kg, ukimaliza, una seal. After 21 days, in a, in a kuwa silent. The difference between chaff cutter and uh, the chopper, uh, chopper, chaff cutter in a cutter pieces, round pieces. Mm -hmm. With the chopper in a crash, you pack your stem. Yake. Oh. Iki crash, iki, then you crash vizuri, mm -hmm. so in a press, kwa your bag in a toa hewa yote. Uh -huh. So your silage ni most, iko ni double sana, uh -huh. kuiva. The big machine, ni, the price ni 1.8 million uh -huh. for the big machine. The small machine, it's uh, for 750 shillings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where do you sell them? We are located at uh, the Risaram Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next to United uh -huh. Engineering. Today we are showcasing different technologies which are assisting farmers in, in each and every day's work. Oh, and the main technology that we are displaying today is milking technology because we, are, we want to solve the problem of milking and uh, we have different types of milking systems ranging from one cow at a time to 20 cows at a time with automated uh, and semi-automated systems. Mm -hmm. So this technology works in a simple way that there is a vacuum pump which uh, creates some vacuum uh, force and then the, this technology to regulate the, as it sucks so that it can suck the milk. That is super neat here. In a bracaria, oh, na kuna another seed there, uh -huh. a lot of mixed uh, uh -huh. vegetables, ya kungesh, maziwa, and whatever. Uh, yes. Fanya. <laughs> <laughs> because the hay is very, very expensive now. Uh -huh. But when you buy these fodder crops and grow them, yeah. the milk production goes high. Yes. yes. Has it met your expectations? Yes, it has, particularly uh, the, the cattle management. Mm -hmm. I used to have about five cows a long time ago, but uh, uh, I, I had a break. But now I'm, I'm resuming to keep uh, more more cattle, mm -hmm. and uh, I've learned a lot. So I need to improve that one. Uh, see, I have just started so that I can be able to uh, to see uh, to, to have uh, more milk production and uh, how to feed the cows starting from the calf up to the, the, the time it's, we start milking. Yes, it has met our expectation. Now maybe less people, more time for the customer, for us. I don't know what you call us, clients or customers. I don't know what you call us. Yes, yes they have time to explain things. I've also seen these machines here, which are which I, which I, which I asked a question and I was told that uh, the price, and then I, I found that uh, I could use uh, one of these machine by using solar energy. Kama uh, is stand. These stands are very tiny looking, uh -huh. but they are more informative than anything else. Yes. Kama who your mama has got everything uh -huh. for a dairy farmer. Yes. You grow everything. I kona leaflets. I kona actual actual samples. It was very encouraging. Uh, we have yeah. learned and we yeah. haven't even finished Nasai Mekwisha. Uh, yes, way. yes. And now to the final part of the show. You know, agriculture with no fun makes Linda a lazy girl. Or what do they say? So let's go see what they have for us. Let's go. Sasaeri. Tani Gibambe. Nashikilia wapi? 
Apa? I'm ready to do this. Ooh. It has been quite a day. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the show, but I hope this show has really inspired you in terms of we've showcased the crops, we've showcased the animals, we've showcased so many things, including value addition. I hope the show has inspired you to be a greater farmer because all we are pushing for is to increase food security in the country. So thank you so much. My name is Linda Koske. See you again next week, same time. <laughs>